<clears throat> Excuse me. Hey guys, I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. It is another installment of Late Night Snack Time with the Scoville Squad. And I got something pretty cool today. It's not breaking bad. It's just some more candy from Hell Garden. Nick Kemp's. This is his sour apple candy. Now this is a, a candy that's made with his sour apple tincture. Rather exciting. Looking forward to trying this. Hope you guys are having a great day. But listen, here's the deal. Today, um, we wanted to, I really wanted to eat that California Reaper with Big Al and uh, my Pepper Apprentice. Here's the problem. It was Friday. We we're just super busy. We weren't able to do it. Here's the good news. That pepper, those peppers are in amazing shape and they're going to be fine on Monday. We made the executive decision. So we will eat that pepper on Monday. So I'm sorry. Um, so we weren't able to get a video this afternoon at the office. Sorry about that too. But uh, it's Friday, the weekend's here. So here we go, you guys, from Hell Garden, Nick Kemp's. This is Sour App Apple Candy. I'm Johnny Scoville. This is Chase the Heat. Oh. Here's the thing. When you eat his um, green apple tincture, the tincture is so strong that although you get the green apple, it's more pronounced here. Just amazing green apple flavor and a tingle right away. Oh, it's a lovely candy. Um, this would be, just like all of his candies, it would be, it would be an attention getter for somebody who's a little, a little person or somebody who's not a chili head at all. It would find it a, a pretty strong tingle. They'd say it's really hot. It's a good tingle. If you're one of us on the bus, I'm going to do Tommy's picks. I'm going to give you the score after I do Tommy's picks. I'm going to leave this in my mouth for a little bit. All righty. Um, let's go to Tommy's picks and see what he's got to say. All right. Thank you, Tom. Tommy's been super busy. I'm sorry we missed a few. Thank you, Tommy, for uh, providing me with these picks. And thank you guys for the great comments you've made. Thomas Elwood Bailey, never seen that name in the winter circle. If you take the uh, if you take the feeling butting down on your tongue and tripping going up and down stairs gives you, then you know how missing out on this challenge would feel. Have a great night, people. Elwood's back and yet with another installment of what it would be like to miss series. And this one is great. Thanks, Elwood. You are a beast. Nicholas Burns, what uh, what will uh, what will be the challenge that gets uh, C Nicholas Bur uh, will this be the challenge that gets C Nicholas Burns in the League of Fire? I'm thinking about it. People, um, I had to choose this because now we have a Mr. Burns on the record proclaiming for all the world um, to hear that this will in fact be his League of Fire run. No pressure, Nick Burns. We will not mock you for years and years if you change your mind. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Nothing like putting it out there for the world to see, you know? I know that feeling. When I said, like, the first time I said it, I was going to drink a bo whole bottle of plutonium. And the second time, you feel it weighing on you. You just know that day is coming like a condemned prisoner or something. This is Brett H. Seven minutes and 14 seconds in. Johnny's face, as his mouth is burning beyond, he said it's only a three. I literally knew this wasn't that hot. Uh oh, let me read this first because he's a bit snarky. Uh oh, the good doctor got snarky. Let me read this. Ah, here we go. Boy, here's Tommy, a little bit snarky. Good family fun, family getting together. If you had a backyard barbecue, this kind of stuff would happen. Uh, remember, it's the comment saying, I said it was only a three. He knew it really wasn't that hot. Um, family, uh, you must admit that the good doctor has not been snarky in a hot minute. True. Um, well, it's time. First of all, let me thank Brett for his professional opinion. And then let me allow, uh, let me to ask my fellow bus riders, what is it about challenges that always brings out cats with mental challenges? Brett knows that these are not hot. Hey, Brett, tell, I'll tell you what, show, uh, show us, put up or shut up, buy a tube and film yourself showing how not hot uh, you know they are. That won't happen. 
The only thing hot in Brett's life is the air he's full of. Thanks, Brett. I needed a snark attack. All in good fun. People like doing that. It's drive by criticism. It's all right. I think they got thick skin. Growing up, it was always like that. If somebody was giving me a hard time, I can take it. Tommy couldn't. Growing up, if somebody was giving uh, Tom, uh, me a hard time, uh, or Tommy a hard time, he could take it. I couldn't. That's kind of how it is. Um, thank you, God, and they are really hot. I have just a scary tolerance. But it's just the way it is, you know. But my tolerance goes up and down. Right now, my tolerance is pretty high because we've been testing all these products for three months. Just every single day. Eat this, eat this, eat this, eat this, eat this. Every single day. So my tolerance is relatively high right now. I am really looking. We've sent hundreds of these out already. Um, so I'm really excited to see. And what they're talking about, in case you don't know, he's not having it here. Talk about the six hot balls. It's a great challenge. Available now. They sold out yesterday. Um, fear not. They're stocked up. We have plenty. I don't know how long they're going to last. We're having trouble keeping up with the orders. I'm not joking you. They're flying. We, the first night, we thought we had made enough to cover us for the first night. They sold out in two hours. Um, so... Um, they're there right now if you want to get one, you get one. They are four points with the League of Fire. That is pretty cool. Um, and that's how Nick Burns is going to get in the League of Fire. We, you all heard it. By the way, the last Friday of the month, if you want to do a hot, six hot balls, you certainly can. Uh, we'll, just, we'll be doing different challenges. We also follow different rules, but we're all going to be filming it. This is going to be exciting. Guys, we're going to wrap it up right now. Um, the weekend is here. I'm officially on Oz time. It's going to be a great weekend. Make it fun, make it exciting. It's up to you. I can't make it exciting and fun for you. I know you will, though, and tell me the stories in your uh, comments, what you're doing this weekend. Right there, as our pepper. Ha! Click that pepper, get on the bus. If you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification. Miss none of those videos. Uh, right there is League of Fire. Nicholas Burns, he's going to be in the League of Fire. I can sense it. More videos there. I love you guys. Let's make this weekend awesome. I'm Johnny Scoville. This is Chase the Heat.